What's up guys, Big Sean with a video on how to plan a three-star uh, clan war raid. Uh, so today we're, today we're gonna be focusing on the scouting and planning portion of the attack and also we'll do a, uh, an attack at the end. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna do this in real time. So the first part of a to plan a three-star attack is the scouting phase. So we're gonna start looking at some bases here. Um, for me, I'm gonna be hitting a Town Hall 9, so we're gonna start at the top Town Hall 9 and we are gonna check out the base. Um, we're gonna look for uh, what uh, uh, strategies we think will work, what might, might not work, and we're gonna make a list. So on this base here, a uh, pretty compact base. Um, max walls, you got the queen, max. So this is a pretty tough base. Um, right off the bat, I'm thinking HGHB on this base because coming from uh, coming out onto the queen here, pretty easy, easy funnel. Um, you can get your troops right in. You know where the, the giants and bowlers are gonna go, rage them up and you take out this whole kind of upper left-hand portion of the base. The back end with hogs may be a little bit tricky, so um, I think this would be a little bit tougher of a base, but I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. So I'm making a list here, I got a sheet of paper. So for number 11, I'm writing down HGHB. All right, let's check out the next base. Okay, here, a little bit more spread out. Um, you can see there's kind of like a somewhat of a dead zone in the middle here where you just have an expo, uh, clan castle and heroes. Also up where these storages are, kind of a little of a, a dead zone area there. So the, the point of this base is to make your troops kind of go around the perimeter, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So again, on this base, I do like HGHB um, because um, you can use the base against itself. You you want to keep your giants and bowlers together. And a base like this is kind of set up to, to allow you to do that. So on this base here, 12, I'm going to write down HGHB. Now let's take a look at the next base. All right, this one's been three-starred. We'll skip over that. So we got a two-star attack here. Um, so here, pretty compact base. So I'm thinking right away a Goho would work here. Um, you got a lot of clumped up defenses. Would be perfect for hogs. Um, and under heal, they should tear through kind of this bottom portion of the base. Um, probably come from up top with a kill squad to take out the heroes and the CC. So let me go ahead and write that down for this base. I got Goho. 14. Okay, let's look at one more base. Okay, here again, pretty compact base. Um, so hogs might work. Um, also looking at where the expos are and the air defenses. Um, and the queen, you can see the queen is actually accessible outside the walls. And there's no expos that extend beyond this left hand uh, side here. So actually, I like a queen walk on the left lower left hand start on this uh, can this archer tower working left to take out the queen and the CC troops. That would work well. And then for the rest of the base, probably it's a little bit more spread out, so maybe like a go va attack. So on base 15, I'm gonna write down queen walk, go va. All right, so we've scouted some bases. We've identified some attacks we think might work. Uh, now we're gonna select a base and an attack strategy. So just so looking at my list here, I think the one I like best is this base number 12. Um, HGHB just because we're using the base against itself um, and once I get my giants and bowlers in here I though I can kind of plan to, to know where exactly where they're gonna go um, so what we're gonna do that's gonna conclude the scouting phase now I'm gonna we're gonna take a short break I'm gonna come back with a, a sketch plan I'm just gonna walk uh, through how I came up with my uh, plan kind of tile by tile on, on attacking the space all right, guys, we are now in an application called Skitch, which is a tool that allows us to draw directly onto the base that we're gonna be attacking. So you can see here in the background, I'm dropping down some text boxes showing exactly where each troop is gonna go. You can see we're coming from the right-hand side of the base. We're gonna be dropping a baby dragon toward the top right to make a funnel there. We're gonna be dropping another baby dragon toward the bottom right to make a funnel on the opposite side. Then we're dropping some giants, we're dropping some healers. So this is a very useful tool, not only to plan your attack, but also to kind of mentally prepare for the uh, execution phase. You can also drop uh, circles to show where spells are being used. So we're putting a, a blue circle for where a rage spell is going to be dropped, uh, two orange spells showing where the poison spells are going to be used to take care of the CC troops. Now we're switching over to the opposite side of the base where we're going to be coming with our hog attack. So we put a text box showing where the hogs go. And then I like to draw arrows showing exactly where the hogs are going to be pathing because we know they're going to go from defense to defense to defense. That also helps you identify where your heal spells are going to go. Now on this base, we're actually going to be using three heal spells. So we're 
going to be pretty much keeping the hogs healed up the entire time they're on that left hand side of the base. Okay, so that wraps up the skitch planning phase of the attack. All right, guys, so now we've completed our scouting, we've completed our skitch plan. Now we are ready to jump into a live attack, see if we can put this all together and turn it into a three star. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. We've got all our troops, we've got our spells. Let's see if we can do this. All right, first thing we're going to do, put four giants there with healers, put a baby dragon there, baby dragon there, wizard there. I'm gonna let the funnel develop here. We're gonna be patient. I wanna make sure everything goes inside the base. I wanna wait for that gold storage to go down. Then we're gonna send the rest of our giants, our king. We're gonna put our bowlers and our queen And then as soon as everything gets in here, we're going to rage them up. Let's go ahead and rage right here. We're going to poison CC troops as they're coming out. Looks like we got some loons and dragon. All right, now we're going to be patient. We want both heroes, both enemy heroes to be engaged before we send in the hogs here. Okay, looks like the king is about ready to go in. So I'm going to send in these hogs now. I'm just going to be careful for giant bombs over here. We gotta keep these hogs alive. So far, no giant bombs. Um, okay, the hogs are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a heal right here. There's the first giant bomb. How are the rest of our troops doing? Queen's gonna take out that expo. We still got bowlers, we still got hero, hero um, uh, giants up. Let's go ahead and drop another heal right here. Let's get some cleanup troops down in the back end here. Uh, another giant bomb off down there and we'll put another heal here looks like we're gonna get this the only thing is clean up let's go ahead and phase the king phase the queen we got a minute 22 to get this cleaned up we got a lot of hogs left yeah I think we're looking pretty good because we got all those hogs left so it looks like it all it all kind of worked out um, the um, yeah base like this you know um, where the where you can kind of keep your giants and bowlers, you know, the giants and bowlers all went down this right-hand side of the base, cleared the whole right-hand side. We only used really one spell for them, one uh, rage, which gave us three um, heal for the, the hogs, and the hogs kind of worked all, all along this whole left-hand side of the base. So we, we pretty much broke the base up into two halves, one half for the, the giants and bowlers and the heroes, and then the other half for the hogs. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up. This has been a three-star attack. Um, in a, with a video showing you how to uh, scout and plan. Hope you guys are able to learn something and I will catch you next time.